uh, there was a ton of national media content on the mm. Sacramento Kings today. Um, first thing that caught my attention this morning was Zach Lowe, a uh, friend of the show who just doesn't know it yet. Uh, posted an article on, 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 on DeMontis Sabonis and was kind of reading it a little bit as, as, as the dog was playing and around the park and, Got home, really dove into it. It's like, what, 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 what's, what, what, what great nuggets are in here that we could talk about? Mm -hmm. And there's some, there's, there's really good stuff in there. There's, there's just some, there's, you know, Domas's reaction to getting Zach traded. Really good. He's very, very good. And I love one thing that I really love about him is he doesn't just say stuff for the sake of saying it. Mm -hmm. He says something and then shows you a video of why he feels that way. Mm -hmm. And then he offers another perspective and he shows you another video mm -hmm. from that other alternative perspective. And uh, this 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 uh, uh, this article he wrote uh, encompasses all of that stuff. And he talks about Domas's reaction, how he thought they were going to get booed. Uh, he's talking about traveling. I think it was with Justin Holiday, thinking they were going to get booed when they got to Sacramento because he was reading the social media reaction mm -hmm. to the Tyrese Halliburton trade. Uh, and De'Aaron was the one who kind of set him down and was like, nah, bro, this 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 crowd is crazy. They're 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 going to be behind you, yeah. Uh, and of course, he gets the big ovation the first time he steps on the floor. I was like, all right, this is all good. Like it's good. Yeah. Well, and the, then the other crazy part about that was how the little tidbit about <laughs> how after all like that, he thought he was going to get booed. Like, didn't he like uh, mess up the time to come out? Yeah, he was. He he, he out went out by himself, <laughs> and he thought he was about to get eviscerated. Yeah, and sure enough, standing he was like taping his ankle or something like yeah. that. I guess he tapes himself, which is very. I've never heard of that yeah. before, but I guess that's what he does. I don't. I don't. I shouldn't say he was taping his ankle. He just he 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 said he was taping himself as he as he does before each game, and so when he ran out, he ran out alone, mm -hmm. and he got a a big reaction from the Golden One Center crowd. Um, and again, everything was like, it's a, it's a great article. And then I found the Jordy Fernandez quote. Mm. Jordy Fernandez says, and, and there's quotes from Mike Brown, De'Aaron Fox, there's quotes from everybody, but this is the one right here. Cause Jordy, to the best of my knowledge is the first person to at least say this publicly. Mm. Some deal on KC been talking about, but you don't want to listen to deal on KC. Moment. Maybe I'll listen to Jordy Fernandez. Maybe, hopefully. They say that this is Jordy Fernandez here to Zach Lowe. They say the game slows down in the playoffs. Well, we won't slow down. Mm, put it on a shirt. Come on, man. <laughs> put All it on a we shirt. heard is how different everything is going to be. Mm. Oh, how much slower the game is. They say the game slows down in the playoffs. Well, we won't slow mm. down come on man it. i love it come on jordy i love it come the on kings, jordy the kings are coming the kings are coming for the nba playoffs come on jordy people just out there just saying stuff for the sake of saying it and jordy says hey we have something to say about the way the game is played mm -hmm. we're going to play the way that we have at this point for 71 games by the time this is over 82 we're going to play our game. It's not going to change because we're playing the same opponent. It's not going to change because playoffs are attached to it. It's not going to change because we're playing at a different time of the day. We have a style of play that has gotten us here to this point, mm -hmm. and it is not going to change. Mm -hmm. It's up to defenses to adjust to us. We're adjusting for nobody. Right. He didn't say any of that. That's what I read in that <laughs> quote right there. Right. Well, we don't. we won't slow down. I love it. I love absolutely it. love that yeah that's that is a, a hell of a quote can't i can't wait for the playoffs to get here i cannot wait Go i can't either man madhouse i can't either the kings are going to be ready the kings are going to be ready for the I, playoffs I, I cannot wait i can't wait for the playoffs i can't wait for that moment that they clinch and i don't know what your ah, yeah, yesterday took a little bit of a, well no i'll say this Depends on what happens today. Because uh -huh. when I did the calculations, I had them winning yesterday. And just for argument's sake, mm. I had them losing today. Not a believer. Okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He's not a believer. So if they win today, which right I, back on I tweeted, I said they were going to win today. You did tweet that. Um, sort of. Yeah, you're right back on track, which gets you to the weekend. If they don't win, 
I get so the number's still four. Mm-hmm. Um and it, you know it, it's not just it's not solely how many games the kings win right there's a variety of other things that could come into play which originally <laughs> led us to believe it could happen friday or well well one of them saturday one of them is when i did this over the weekend the warriors were seventh mm-hmm. and i did all the math with the warriors being seventh mm-hmm. now yeah. they're not right. now the mavs are right and one of the issues with the mavs is they don't play as many games That's this right. week as the warriors yeah. so I the opportunity that. to clinch it might changes be, it, it, like it, it, it's 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 turned into monday real quick <laughs> yeah yeah what's after that i don't know and then they go on the road they got, and then, oh then it's the two games portland. against portland yeah which is where we kind of originally looked at it yeah that is that is absolutely well we might have to hastily schedule a watch party somewhere mm, friday night oh my gosh <laughs> friday night sky river casino <laughs> damn we could throw that joint together on <laughs> a day's notice. No problem. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. no problem whatsoever. Um, we would prefer they not hold out till April 5th at, at, at Fieldhouse. Yeah, that, that let's would, I, let's no, not do that. No, let's, no, let's not. Let, let's, <laughs> not. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Let's take care. Let's 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 take care of business. Yeah. Um if but but if if the uh if the Warriors who were the we we looked at this earlier? Warriors got the Mavs and the Sixers in the next two games. When's the Sixers game? Friday night in Golden State. Hmm. Okay. And the Mavs have the Warriors, and then they don't play. I think. Oh no, they play Charlotte on Friday, and then Charlotte again on Sunday. Hmm. So Saturday would be ruled out mm-hmm. if if. Bam. <laughs> All right. I thought Saturday playoff clinching moment. Uh, it's once again, it's still alive. Oh still no, 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 alive. no, for sure. And if Dallas beats the Warriors on Wednesday, mm-hmm. that puts the Warriors back in seventh. And the War but, the Kings win tonight. We're still back on track for something to happen this weekend. Okay. All you go have Kyrie. to do is go out there and beat the Celtics. Go Kyrie, who is not interested in Dylan Brooks's nasty ass 